The Jefferson County Sheriff's Office is reopening a nearly 30-year-old homicide investigation after the victim was recently identified thanks to forensics. During a press conference today, Jefferson County Sheriff Jeff Bullard made the announcement. And I am pleased to report investigators of the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office uh, and specialists of Redgrave Research Forensic Services have confirmed the identity of Ina Jane Doe, an unidentified woman whose remains were discovered 29 years ago in Jefferson County. The identity of that woman is Susan Lunn of Clarksville, Tennessee. According to the sheriff's office, Susan was just 29 years old at the time of her death. She was last reported seen by her family on Christmas Eve of 1992 after leaving her home in Clarksville to walk to a local grocery store. After she did not return home, her husband reported her missing and a month's long search began, but she was never found. On January 27, 1993, on a rural road within Wayne Fitzgerald State Park near Redden Lake, the head of a white female was discovered on the side of a wooded roadway. The Jefferson County Sheriff's Office pursued new avenues of IDing that victim nearly 30 years later, including analysis from the University of New Hampshire and Redgrave Research Forensic Services. Um, they agreed to let me take another look, so I was able to, uh, working with more anthropologists and my students at University of New Hampshire, was able to determine that the woman, um, the Jane Doe in question, was likely not as asymmetrical as previously thought, and so we got that updated art done by Carl Koppelman and Laura Norton continued to do forensic um, case background research while I did a skeletal and dental analysis. So um, after we sort of completed that, we reached out to and hired the genealogy team, Redgrave Research Forensic Services, and they were able to get an identification really quickly. In somewhat of a surprise, the family of Susan was even able to attend today's press conference. They spoke with the media following the conference, and here's what they had to say. It's surreal now that we know what, not exactly what happened, but we have some closure. My parents both died, wanted to know whatever happened to them. We told them we'd keep going no matter what. So it's hard because she's our sister and you still love her. Just because she's missing or gone doesn't mean you love her any less. It's just like with any other family. It just it took a long time for them to find her. Um, we got different stories over the years that weren't true. And to know that we were right that she was gone just a couple weeks after she missed is a lot for us. So we're very grateful that we have this. For now, the homicide investigation has been reopened in Susan's case. If you have any information about the actions or whereabouts of her on or following December 24th, 1992, you can call the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office at 618-244-8004. Reporting for WFCN News, I'm Aaron Price.